even haven't. I haven't even. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. What do you do? What do you do? Back again, coming through. Who that is? That ain't nobody but Sumi Sue about to do the do. It's been a minute since I've sat here and done a makeup video, but that is what we're going to be doing today. But first, let me check in with you guys. How are you guys doing? Are you guys holding up okay? This heat is not normal, number one. The weather is just really, really, really jacked up. And now we have another scare on the rise. Girl, the world is just really messed up at this point. But anyways, we're gonna have some fun in this video and I'm going to try and give you at least a good 20 minutes of escape, you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of ease your mind and all of that good stuff. And I still do believe <laughs> That when you look good, you feel good. So that's what I'm here to help you do. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, we, we gonna do the do, whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. We gonna put ourselves together now, okay? The world might be falling apart, but we gonna keep it together. All right, all right. Listen, today's video is sponsored by Fashion Nova Beauty called Nova Beauty. I almost couldn't get that out. <laughs> anyway, this is part two of their sponsorship. I had two sponsorships to do with them. So if you know part one, you know that I did the bronze palette already, which is the brown smoky eye that I did. But today we're gonna be amping it up. Okay, we're gonna take it to the nighttime. We're gonna do full glamour. And this is the smoky palette. So in this palette, we have all of the smoky vibes going on. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have some fun with this palette so if you have it go ahead and whip it out and if you have anything like it go ahead and whip it out I also have some brow products and some lip products yeah I'm not gonna ramble on so because this video is sponsored when it comes to the face section I'm still gonna give it to you but I'm not gonna be mentioning products or anything like that because I know you guys love to see the face so I'm still gonna keep it in there don't worry <laughs> okay we're just gonna breeze right on through chit chat whoop de whoop shibbity boop 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 and all of that good stuff girl without further ado boo boo let's zoom in so we can get within or let's get close cause we finna do the most. <laughs> So I do have their brow pencil and the color that I have is brown and it is called Slimline Brow Pencil. I almost couldn't get that out. I keep wanting to say sublime, but it's slimline, okay? And as you can tell, it is a very thin type of tip. You guys know the regular degler, schmegler, and it does have the spoolie on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm kind of over the push-up look for now. Just, 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 just for now. <laughs> Just for now, I'm kind of going through something. I don't know, I'm just leaving my brows and letting it do what it does. You see what I'm saying? Like, normally I would push it up and stuff like that. I no longer do that. Like, I just go right in. So I'm just letting it do what it do. You see what I'm saying? Like, one extra step that I really don't need to do. But I do love a good push-up brow. I think it is just so, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. But for now, we're going to go ahead and mimic, you know. And I feel like I get more height and more volume when I push it up. You see what I'm saying? Compared to, like, what's going on here. But anyways, enough rambling, girl. Let me go ahead and finish this thing up okay so the brows are done and we are looking good so I'm gonna do a traditional smoky eye well you know I'm just gonna keep it traditional I don't know if you want to call it traditional or not but because it is a beautiful smoky type of palette I do predict that I'm probably just gonna be using three shades out of the whole entire thing to create this I'm gonna keep it really really simple so that you guys can also do it at home first I'm gonna go into mood and yes you already know I'm gonna put it on the crease I'm gonna build that crease really wing it out and I'm gonna be placing this on my lower lash line at the same time. So whenever I do my outer V, I like to, you know, just do my lower lash line at the same time, you know, kill two birds with one stone type of thing. So that is what we're gonna do, okay? Always look at your eye, see your shape, stay within your shape. That is how you're gonna get your eyeshadow to look really nice and clean and pristine and professional, okay? Okay, next I'm going to take shade, which is this color right here. And with that, I'm going to start to kind of blend that black a little bit. I'm gonna use this as my transition transition shade kind of just to kind of soften the edges a little bit you know what I'm saying because you don't want to leave it like that and you know me I'm not going to blow it all the way out I kind of like to keep it tight because I do love when I have some brow bone showing for me I just think that that is aesthetically pleasing on the eye okay so like I said I'm keeping it simple that looks really good for me right now and I even have I have I even haven't I haven't even I haven't even set my brow bone yet. So when I do that, I know that that's gonna soften up that area even more. Next, I am going to go into smoke because we want all the smoke, okay? Which is this silvery grayish shade right here. And it has a little bit of sheen. It's not a high intense shine. It's a little satiny basically. And with that, I'm gonna go right in this area right here and overlap to blend both colors together. Ooh, that's pretty already. Ooh. Okay, to blend this out, because it is a shimmer, what I'm gonna do is just wipe off my brush, the same brush that I used to apply that color. I'm just gonna wipe it off and very lightly because that base that I have down is a cream base. I'm just gonna do like little circular motions right on the very edge. Nothing too, 
because I'm saying crazy because shimmers and satins are really really easy to blend out you don't have to do a lot of work so I'm just gonna let the brush kind of do it for me boom look how quick that was already blended looking really really good okay next up I am going to go now there's a gold in here and I'm thinking gold silver that would be really really different but I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna keep it you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go in with fantasy which is like a champagne kind of gray it's not quite gray, it's not quite champagne, it's kind of like right in the middle there, even a little mauve like but I feel like that will look really, really good on the inner corner, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And as you can tell, I'm using like little blender brushes to apply this, because it helps with the blending, you get what I'm saying? It packs it on, and it helps with the blending at the same time. And same way, I'm just gonna clean off this brush, I do have like a towel in front of me, and I'm just like cleaning it off. And we're gonna use that same brush to just kind of buff out that edge a little bit. Okay, that's pretty. Simple, very traditional, very simple. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes simple is the best. You know what I'm saying? So that is basically it for the eye. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and let's come on back and finish up. Lashes are on, okay? Let's zoom out, go we finish y'all. Like I said, this part of the video, I'm just going to breathe through. I'm not gonna be showing you any products because this video is sponsored by Nova Beauty, okay? So we gotta do 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 whoop dee whoop shooty boop boop. You know how it is. Like I said, I'm still gonna keep the face in here because I know you guys love to see the face. So I'm just going in and I'm moisturizing. If you know, <laughs> you know, okay, ain't nothing changed. Same old thing. Next, I'm gonna go in with my primer and I've been loving a brush lately for almost everything. Like I'm just back to my brushes, you know? Brushes do a good job too, you know? Now I'm gonna color correct and defeat creasing at the same time. I'm also back to my one layer type of thing, especially during the heat. You don't wanna be layering too much of your makeup. So I like to just do that one layer. And basically what I mean by that, I don't even know what you really call this, okay? Like it's basically when you put on everything at once and then you go back and blend it because normally you would put on your foundation and then you put on your concealer so you cover your whole entire face with your foundation and then you go on top of that with your concealer and then you go on top of that with your bronzer then you go on top of that with your blush or whatever you're using especially cream products is what I'm really talking about you put everything on at once you lay everything in its area and then you go back and blend it all out and you just have one layer instead of like stacking on top of each other. You get what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? I first learned this from Taylor Made Jane and I've always loved it. It does take a little bit more time to blend out, but it is definitely worth it in the end. Okay, so now that I have everything placed, I'm gonna go in and blend everything out. Don't mind my robe, I had to tuck it in because we're gonna go down on the neck and a little bit on the chest, so everything blends. I'm gonna do the foundation first, basically. So we're just gonna pounce out all of the foundation and then we're gonna do bronzer and lastly, concealer. And for each set or each segment, I'm gonna be switching the brush basically, okay? Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go in and deal with the concealer. And for this, I'm also gonna use a brush. And if you feel that your concealer has dried down too much since you have been doing everything else, you can just spritz your brush or reapply a little bit more concealer just to kind of wet it again and go in from there. Personally, I do like when my concealer dries down a little bit because I feel like it gives a little bit more coverage. I love that. And the face is looking good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go in and set my face as usual I will be using two powders a light one for the highlighted areas and a darker one for the rest of the face and all of that good stuff So let's do that Okay, so now we need to bronzify catch puppy eyes so we're going to warm up the face with a bronzer, okay? And the bronzer that I'm using has a little bit of red in it, which is what I like for my skin tone. I feel like that complements me well because I have red undertones, you get what I'm saying? So, know your undertones and go from there, boo-boo. Okay, whoop dee whoop shibbity boo 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 But you see what that did to the face? That's what you wanna do. And because I have my hair pulled up, I'm also gonna brush it back into my hairline so everything looks really nice and cohesive, okay? Get that jawline. If your bronzer is super, super red, it's Get something else for down here, okay? It never looks good when on the hair is red. <laughs> and now we're going to chisel dizzle our nose, okay? You know what time it is, you know how this thing goes. It's a must. Hush, hush. Now we're gonna apply a little blush, a little hush hush for this smoky eye. Pink or orange? <laughs> Let's do both, okay? Mix it up. Okay, so before we finish off the look with the lips and everything, I wanna go back to the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you back in because the last time I used ASAP, which is the black liner, and that would go absolutely well with this look, but I'm gonna be a rebel and I'm going to use the blue liner, which is TBH, to be honest, okay? And this is their gel liner and it's basically like a navy 
blue. It's really, really deep and I feel like it's gonna give off a little bit of a black vibe. You're not gonna really, really see the blue in it because it is a true deep navy type of black. So I'm gonna zoom you in and we are going to get into that waterline. Welcome to my face. Now you can see every single pore and you can see this makeup really up close and that it don't look too bad. <laughs> you know what I'm Look pretty good if you ask me. Anyways. <laughs> So I'm gonna use this and let's get right into the waterline. I don't know if you can tell if there's any navy blue in that or not. To me, it just looks really, really, it looks black, you see what I'm saying? So I feel like it would still go, okay? So let me do the other eye and while I have you here, let's do the tear duct. Okay, so just for the sake of trying a different color because to be honest, <laughs> TBH, I really wanna go back in with this shade which is what I have here and just make it a little bit more intensified. I'm actually gonna go into Lucid and Lucid is this true champagne type of gold right here reflecting a lot of light and I think that that is what I need in there. So I'm actually gonna spritz my brush because we do not wanna mess up this face, boo. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna pop that right in there. Okay. The skin looks good. Come on now. For this look, I am going to be using brown two. Brown two is a little bit darker than brown one. I did brown one in the last video and I will have that link down below if you wanna see how the bronze palette and how I did the makeup for that palette basically. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and rim my lips with this. I'm not gonna talk or anything and we're gonna create a really nice, cute type of pout. I cannot talk, I need to be still and I need to concentrate. I take my lips very, very serious. <laughs> and I just wanna say this, this is super creamy. The color transfer is really, really nice and it has like a diamond tip. I'm gonna try and get like a really close-up of the actual tip uh, if they have a stock photo I'm gonna post it here in the video, but it makes lining the lips really really easy Look how I created that, you know one part of my cupid's bow already really really super super easy super creamy. It's just really really bomb and It has a brush like a, a dense little brush for blending so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do everything Okay, just just get into it. All right Okay, so now that we're all lined up, I'm gonna be using this little brush. I never really see anything like this on actual lip products, so, you know, anyways. I was really surprised during the last video, like, I, I thought I had used the brow stuff on my list, but no, this is the actual lip brush, okay? So I'm gonna use this to kind of blend out and feather out the liner before I put on my lipstick. I think it goes well together because the actual liner is like really, really creamy. Like, it's creamy like lipstick, you know? The color transfer is really, really nice, so come on, lips. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Now, I have two lipsticks here. I have Vibes and I have Tone. The last time that I did my look, I used Tone. So for this video, we're going to use Vibes and Vibes is basically like a orangey type of uh, nudie color. No, that's pretty. Come on now. That's pretty. Also, okay, I have two glosses here. I have a clear gloss and it's called Thick and I have tea. The last time I used tea and this time as well, I'm gonna use tea because tea has a little bit of gl glitter in it. You know, it's really, really pretty. Thick is just a clear gloss, okay? This is like my, beside my bed type of gloss because I like to wear lip gloss instead of like lip balm. I feel like, I actually got that tip from one of you guys because I was suffering from really bad chaps lips and ever since I've been using gloss for my actual moisturizer as an actual like chapstick or whatever you want to call it like that's all i wear so to whoever gave me that tip thank you anyways <laughs> let's go in with this and just talk hey it. guys so i hope you enjoyed this video that is it for this tutorial i really like these products 10 out of 10 i do recommend they're super affordable so yeah go for it try it out you see what i'm saying like we wear their clothes anyway why not try the why not buy makeup and clothes at the same time like it's a one-stop shop you can't you can't beat that you see what i'm saying get everything one place boop boop dee boop shibbity boop 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 okay <laughs> yes Anyway, shout out to Nova Beauty for sponsoring this video. I'm super, super happy about it, and I love how this makeup came out. Listen, if it is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, join the tribe, come on in. We are a happy bunch, and we like to keep it nice and clean and classy in here, okay? Yes, like the video if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. Comment down below because I wanna hear from you guys. Follow me on all of my social media platforms, TikTok and IG. Everything is under my name. I love you guys, and yeah, <laughs> listen, while we're here, go ahead and check out some more videos, okay? Like. Like that one or that one, like, do something. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to y'all <laughs> in the next video. <laughs>